Sonoma County is on the leading edge of energy independence, energy efficiency, and reducing our greenhouse gas emissions and our carbon footprint. That's why we're able to attract grant fundings, both in the state level, but also on the federal level. And we're going to be competitive now and into the future, bringing in those resources to make these projects a reality for our community. Airport Business Center originally started working with the uh, Sonoma County Water Agency talking about doing some kind of geothermal heating and cooling system. Geothermal heating and cooling is old technology, very efficient technology, but old technology. But the truly radical idea, the one that the water agency invented, was using treated wastewater as the basic heating and cooling unit. It otherwise sits there without being used, and now we've got a real possibility of taking a valuable commodity in its own right and doubling its use as a heating and cooling source. The Regional Geo Exchange Project is a project that was conceived around the idea of building zero net energy communities that can be replicated all throughout the United States and preferably the world. The backbone is a geothermal loop system that runs through a community that can pipe wastewater which can act as a heating and cooling sink to lower the energy needs of the buildings to the point where the balance can be made up through a combination of energy efficiency measures to bring down the energy use of the building and then that remainder can be brought up using renewable energy such as solar and wind power. Well, we knew we had to start somewhere, so we decided to take this building, 404 Aviation Boulevard, and make it a test case for the energy project as a whole. We had already reduced our energy use down using efficiency measures with a combination of lighting retrofits throughout the building and solar. We have half a megawatt of solar facilities on our building that pretty much takes our electricity use to zero. Now we have to address the heating and cooling. So in order to emulate what we're trying to build out there, we went and drilled our own geothermal system out in the parking lot and we're going to hook it up to the building using heat pumps exactly like we plan to do throughout the whole business park. Once we do that, we'll have our lessons learned and we'll be able to take those lessons and make very smart decisions economically about how we approach the community project. The existing equipment here at 404 Aviation Boulevard is all rooftop equipment. So we have air conditioners, we have boilers, they're all up on the roof, they're exposed to the elements. When it's hot in the summertime, the heat is pounding down on that equipment. Um, and in the wintertime when it's cold, the same thing. The difference is with this system, we're bringing everything within the building or under ground. All the heat pumps are going to go up in the ceiling space. It's within the condition space essentially of the building which is going to um, help with the lifetime of that equipment. But more than that, we're actually coupled to the ground heat exchanger. All that pipe out under the parking lot that um, provides us that constant tempered water source for operating those heat pumps. So the result is energy efficiency and longer lifetime of that equipment. It's summer and it's hot out here. But down here, it's nice and cool. And in the winter, it's freezing out here. But down here, it's always nice and comfy. 65 degrees. Another benefit that I particularly like is that the controls for these systems can be very simple. You just need a thermostat on the wall to control the heat pump when it should come on or off. And that's all there is to it. You don't have to measure pressure differences and temperature differences and flow rates. It's on or it's off. And that is not just easy for the users, but easy for the people who have to maintain those systems. We're taking the renewable energy technique for heating and cooling this building at 404 Aviation and broadening that technology to the entire business park. At our airport Larkfield Wickiup Sanitation Zone Wastewater Treatment Plant, we process one million gallons a day of tertiary treated microfiltered water. That water is stored in two 100 million gallon storage ponds. We're going to take that water, pump it throughout the business park, 
the buildings within the business park could tie into that loop and use that water to heat and cool their buildings. They could also use that recycled water to irrigate their landscapes and for non-potable uses within their building, such as for toilet water. The county's AB811 program could very easily help existing owners and tenants replace their outdated air conditioning systems with modern heat pumps that use this project's water to heat and cool their buildings. It could be a very, very valuable program to make that transition much more painless for a lot of the owners. Typical district energy systems have heating and cooling machines back at the central energy plant. We'll use our wastewater treatment plant as the energy plant. The typical system has four insulated pipes, two for chilled water, two for hot water. We'll only need two pipes and those pipes will not need to be insulated. It should save a lot of materials and should be much less capital cost to construct. One of the pipes will distribute recycled water into the business park. The other pipe would return the recycled water back to the treatment plant. That energy can then be dissipated into the earth on the banks and on the floor of the storage pond. And the mass of water within the storage pond provides additional attenuation of that heating and cooling from the business park. The airport business center has been developed over the last 20 years out here in the north end of Sonoma County. It's kind of geographically isolated, which makes it actually a really good test location to try these new technologies. It has uh, approximately 82 buildings. We have a mix of large office buildings. We have industrial uses. We have laser factories, a tortilla factory. We have an airport. We have wine facilities, gas stations, movie theaters. We've got it all out here. It is the great diversity of building types that we have out here that make it such a great test case for the entire world. Airport business centers obviously in the real estate development business. But in the real estate development business, it's very competitive. We compete with all sectors of the country, and frankly, most every part of the country is cheaper than here. So for Airport Business Center to compete effectively, we have to provide something to our customers that not everybody else has. And one of those things is a sustainable, green, unique environment. And that's truly one of the reasons we're very excited about this. As a business owner in the area, and you're business has been 10 or 15 years and your HVAC equipment is ready to be retrofitted. You've got your money's worth out of it. You're a good candidate to hook up to our recycled water system and our geo exchange system. In the recycled water distribution loops, we would have stub outs to every single building. So every building would have the opportunity to hook up. They'll realize the energy savings on site. They don't have to dig up their parking lot. They don't have to put a pond in to dissipate that heat. They can stay in business, just hook up, save months of time and months of capital costs. They'll buy into the communal heat sink, which is at the treatment plant. The bigger picture is we're looking to have this whole business park be net zero energy. We lower our energy demand with ground source heat pumps primarily, which is typically 50% of a building's energy use. The rest of the energy demand, which will always be there, we want to meet that with renewables. We have a lot of roof area, a lot of flat buildings in this area, perfect for solar. They get a lot of sunlight. If we can meet that with renewables, then in the business park, we hope to be the first business park in the U.S., certainly in Sonoma County, to be net zero energy. We believe these programs that are kind of under this uh, umbrella of sustainability will not only lower our costs, but will also attract new businesses. And for us, yes, it is nice to help the environment, but bottom line, you got to make money doing it. We think this will do that. The reason why we're committed to the Geo Energy Exchange program here locally is that we know that this is something that can be replicated throughout the state and throughout the country and globally. One thing that's common in the United States and throughout the world is that there are a lot of business parks and a lot of those business parks are big energy users. And one of the things that we know is using recycled water, using solar and other kinds of projects locally, you can create zero net energy communities in all the businesses throughout the world. That is something that we're excited about and we know we can make it happen.